Hello, students. Here we're going to find the inverse of this function. Now you can imagine that the inverse of this function, since the function involves a square root, the inverse of the function is going to have a square term in it, and uh, you'd be correct. Um, so you can just, by inspection, look at this thing and think that, well, I'm going to square something, then I'll probably have to add 1 and then divide by 2, um, which are all the inverse operations. Uh, involved with um, this function because we're taking a square root, we're subtracting one, and we're multiplying by two. All right, so we have to undo those. So let's find out um, how we can proceed formally and uh, figure that out. Uh, figure out what the inverse function is. Now keep in mind that this um, f to the minus one is not one over f of x, so the answer is not going to be one over the square root of two x minus one. Okay, that's not how we uh, solve these. All right, so um, one property that is very useful when solving equations is um, the fact that if you take the inverse of the function um, and you um, input the function itself, uh, you just get the argument back again. All right, so um, in some subsequent videos, um, I show how to use that property. All right, so the first thing we do is um, we're going to write um, this as a curve, y equals the square root of 2x minus 1. And then we're going to rewrite it, and we're going to swap x and y. And then um, we're going to solve for y. So we're going to square both sides. And then after we square both sides, we notice that we had x squared on the left, and the square root and the square uh, are inverse operations. So we just get 2y minus 1. And then we add 1 to both sides, and after we add 1 to both sides, we then divide by 2, and we end up with x squared plus 1, all divided by 2. Now, remember that this means that both x squared and 1 are divided by 2. And uh, to check our work, um, we have our solution is um, f inverse is equal to x squared plus 1 divided by 2, uh, as we um, had just solved, and to check our work, we input um, the function f of x into the inverse function and um, we see that uh, we square the square root and we just get 2x minus 1 we add 1 to that the ones cancel then we divide by 2 and we end up with x uh, so go ahead and give that a check and see if you can follow along with um, checking this that this uh, function is indeed the inverse function alright good luck